have yep. a minute? I'm on my way upstairs. IDV wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. Oh, I'll meet you by the elevator. Sweet, I got some more collectibles. Oh, yeah, I got bonnet. Yeah. Cool. Right. Do you want elevator? You want you say elevator, I say wanna hack this son of a bitch. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's probably the easiest of the hacking because the, the the sort of frogger type uh, cross the road type one is a bit annoying sometimes. That one you literally just have, if you just get it, you just need to get to the right point and just that you're simple. There's no actual issues. Another one of them. Added to my list. That's 6 out of 33. Just want to see if there's anything else on this floor before I skadoosh. A skadoosh. I saw one just. You watch should be the fucking one I don't want it to be. Oh no, it's this one. Ah, oh, it's when they started in like the... The tele... The, the sort of like teleporter type things. I want to see if I can actually try and like... Nab one so I can just show you what I'm on about. Like this. Shroom. Oh, it actually just saved me a hassle. Me wanting just to show off what it does. Exactly, in case I kind of hit one. Actually just did me a solid respect. Okay, an artifact. Interesting. Oh, there's a QR code here that I've not got yet. That is number four. Ten more of them to get. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. Yeah, let's just go and see him. Oh, you're not in the elevator. That's why he wouldn't let me do anything. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. You mean like the actual trailer? Hmm, sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in the timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I love the low. Sorry. <laughs> No, no, enthusiasm. Enthusiasm's good. I it was on your tablet then. Oh. It's the way. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. I'm Melanie. I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Yes, ma'am. Shouldn't Honest. be long. Just chilling here. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Fair enough. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control. I'll update your communicator. Back the camera control panel. Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. So... How do I actually... I've got an open tutorial. No go between them use... Ah! But yeah. <sighs> Cl 
Det er løs på den musik, ja. Og det er derfor, han ikke... Okay. Accessing camera controls. shareholders meeting in the uh a little too early for that kind of abuse huh? the unity situation uh, the unity the watchdogs thing so what's next we do as the lady says focus on the observatory assassins templars crazy talk i'm curious about the shareholders meeting though how about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you! <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life. So, do as I say. Now, step over to the window. What window? Uh, what are you on about around here? Oh yeah, it didn't see the. Did look like a gap at first, but I was blind. You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yes. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. Now I can just waltz in. And I'm not going to question why I'm Either not... you walk through that door, or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. Right, okay. Let's give me like over. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to question like, the fact that I'm not even oh, well waiting for him. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. I'm going to see if there's anything collectible in here I can gather, but there's not, so... Time to hack again. Oh, god damn it, I hate this one. Fucking... God damn, I'm going to cross this fucking beam. Dun, dun. Fuck her. I should have waited, but that one was too quick. I'm gonna go red, it's gonna go red, it's gonna go red. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, wait, it takes you back around. Good to know. Oh, fuck up. I should have probably waited again. That was close. Got you that time. Right. Timely, Kamar, Chloe, Christopher, and Evan from Olivier. As much as you know, I'll be attending the Chicago shareholders meeting. Yes, it is. It's the fucking watchdog situation. So if you don't actually know, I'll point this out right now. That character is actually, obviously the meeting is heading to, is actually taking place within the watchdogs opening sequence. The first game. It's the first thing you get to do. And obviously, uh, it's the first thing you do, is it? Sorry, no, it's the first thing you do is... 
it's one of the quests in the game. I think it's the first thing you do, actually. Um, it's just one of the quests in the game. And basically, as... Fuck, what's the guy from Watch Dogs' name? His name's gone from my brain. Hold on, I'm going to Google it a sec. Watch Dogs. What's his fucking name? Aiden Pierce, that's it. Obviously, his character obviously hunts someone down and uh, essentially ends up killing them. That person is, is this guy. Um, so, okay, anyway, so... Meetings 15th to the 17th, and they want to see our progress to the campaign line. The small amount of data we have already gathered is incredible, and we anticipate even more amazing things in the near future. The events and people we have seen so far make us confident that the com complete experience will be one of the most eye-opening explorations of piracy ever seen. It would take quite a bit of work to scrub the data... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, fucking, that's a lot of it. Blah, 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 blah. Does sample 17 contain enough compelling data? Blah, blah, blah. Sample 1, prove faith. Fruitful enough to create our liberation project. Mission sample 2 through 16 with best prose fruits as well. Thoughts? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, sample 17 project director is just... Uh, nah. Most interesting time periods available to us. Okay, now, um, particular line: 15th century Italian Renaissance, or Italian stuff. 16th century Ottoman Empire. 18th century, 18th century American colonies, War for Independence, which we've already done. 19th century New England and American Midwest. Uh, Holy Land Crusade, which is pretty much done. Egypt, North Africa, which is what we're going to get to do. Uh, Ashikaji Shogunate. In Japan, that's I'm guessing what we're kind of uh, getting with the Shadows game, which is sadly not getting released till next year now. Which you know is both bad and good. Uh, 18th century French Revolution, which was obviously Unity, a Napoleonic War, Taiwan in the 19th century, Summer of Love, American Pacific Coast, 20th century, uh, small possible options. Um. Okay. You sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. Get her out of here. As gullible as ever. Now hurry down to the lobby before I detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Hold on. I've got the opportunity to hack her. Oh god damn it, I regret it instantly. Close. Very close that was. Dun dun dun. Fucking did it in one. That's the book. I think I actually have that book. I got a couple of the books, which is pretty cool. Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Yeah, if I want to create book wise, I've got the Assassin's Creed Free Book, I've got the Unity, I've got Revelations, and I do have Black Flag. I have listened to the audiobook for the the audiobook exclusive uh, Assassin's Creed. One of the things Assassin's Creed Gold or something like that. That was pretty interesting. Did you uh, like the allonge? I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh come on! It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. <laughs> 
for a certain he's actually in the Well done, friend. Very well. You got near booking correctly. That's locked. There. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. This one is not. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. Well, hold on. Well, I'm down here. Might as well get this one here. Right, let's see what we want. There we go. It's always a case of just going back on one and activating the next one. Life fear this one in the toilet. No! What's this all about? Just uh go have some coffee. Oh, take that one here as well. Number eleven. Cracking down on these quite quite nicely. If there's anything here. Right then. Back up we go. Yoink. Go back to my fucking desk. Nine sticky notes. It's nice, nice, nice. Ah! Hey there. Hi. Uh, I'm going to do some more hacking. Let me start with this computer. Try up is dead. Oh, can't actually go anywhere that way. So why would he come? What was that for? So everybody come this way as well. There we go. Pack complete. And we've unlocked some Hidden secret ad concept. I'm guessing it's something to do with the VR headsets you're wearing. Chuck a cheeky ad in there. Oh, squeeze through. Come on, mate. Haha. <laughs> that one is a fucking piece of this one. Spirit 17 phase one report. Kidnapped. Ah, okay, so it's, it's when they abducted Desmond, saw the fucking details about that. The Desmond pack. <laughs> it's like some sort of weird DLC. Hey, if, if you want to play as Desmond, here's the Desmond pack. I almost fell off my fucking chair then. Dun dun dun! Another quick simple one! Researchers looked into the life of Altair Ibn Lahad, hoping to find a biography that might serve as a positive role model for Abstergo's global outreach programs. Unfortunately, this renegade assassin proved to be no such thing. In much of his footage, we see a man gleefully flouting some of his culture's most entrenched taboos with an arrogance that borders on messianic. I'll tell you, no, this is not our way. 
to burn a man's body is forbidden. Many of our researchers felt that the arguments articulated by Altair's rival, a man known as Abbas, were clearer and more cogent than any we heard from Altair. I recently put in a request that more effort be dedicated to locating one of Abbas's descendants, if any exist. It's clear to us that Altair's transgressions were the primary motivation behind the ultimate dissolution of his despicable order by the middle of the 13th century. Ah, the crossbow they fucked off because of historical inaccuracy. In favor of a more agreeable and inspiring figure from this era. That's pretty cool. Uh, there should be one more in here, which is the one right here. But there's also a stick in there, which I will grab. Grab that real quick. Get on the computer. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, you bastard. Gotcha. And we have a painting. Oh, isn't that, um, the evil one from the last game? One of history's most overlooked leaders, Madeleine Delis, freed hundreds of slaves and brought them to a sanction at Tropical Haven, whose construction, construction she, she oversaw personally, brutally cut down at the peak of her career by Avalon de Glart. <sighs> get my fucking Colin Burnett's names right now, my fucking brain is just shutting down. Um, the orphan she rescued from a broken home. Madeline served as Master Templar in the Southern Colonies from 1764 to 1777. No security room in here. Let's see if there's anything. Apart from the computer. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. See, it seems to always work that way. You've always just got to go forward and then back again. That's scary. Oh, and I can now access. Whoa, 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 he's leaving food lying around. Now access all the cameras in this area. Is where I just came from? No, it's nice. Different one. Different one. Oh, there's a server room there. I've that's a late game. We have another sticky note. There's some computers to hack here. Oh, God damn it. That was actually pretty easy. Not gonna lie. I feel like some of them are just are a bit more difficult, and then some are just like, straight shots. I feel like my my problem is I like, kind of rush them. I don't take my time. Ghost lights. Ooh, spooky. Ooh, spooky. Right, you hacked. Another fucking one. Oh, it's got them on it. This is only there. It's not too much of a aggro. Oh, fuck off. First, sometimes well, you, you you think you've got it, and you just it just about misses. You kind of fuck then. Go on. Oh, get down. Pictures? Wait, so if there's if there's pictures on here of 
Hastings in the fuck I not realise it's him downstairs. <laughs> and then not realise the postwoman is also <laughs> Oh my god. I'm still going this fucking dumb. I mean there's a cool little picture that I might add. Oh you did a kidding. Who did a kidding? A bit of random end one, but uh Okay. Yeah, if Stergo is so dumb as I've not realised from having these pictures on their server, what the fuck is going on? Oh fuck. Made a bit too quick there. Bit overzealous. There. Oh, the last fucking lines are moving one as well this time. So they're, they're trying to make it harder each time. Okay, uh, hope this is on. I don't think I've ever used this phone more than a few times to record anything. <clears throat> uh, hey, Dad. So, uh, we're all here in New York at the motel. It's, uh, Queens, actually. In Astoria, near the NQ. Rebecca's off getting batteries for something. Sean's in his room doing whatever Sean does. And, uh, you're out getting some food. Me? Well, I'm supposed to be getting ready to break into some offices in the financial district. Feels just like prepping for one of your old training drills, actually. Ten years go by, and then you show up, and it's like, uh... Like I, I was never gone, and we're right back to the ball busting and the conspiracies and the paranoia only this time I believe you I believe every word you know I don't even think you know the half of it I, I don't think you know how much I've seen how much I've, I've learned in just a few weeks everything really I feel like uh, like I've, I've lived a thousand years or, or, or ten thousand maybe possible to explain but when you see that much of the world through the eyes of so many you can't help but be sad and to see all these incredible intelligent people fight the same battles make the same mistakes over and over again because culture and knowledge and history these things they aren't passed on through our genes Every kid on Earth needs to relearn the basics. How to live, how to survive, how to stand up for, for what's right. So much is lost in the transfer. So much is added every generation. It's a shame. I mean, over and over, everything must be learned again. I met Clay. Like Gesmeric, in the Animus. I knew him by his Abstergo handle, Subject 16. My, uh, my predecessor. And he showed me things. He passed them to me, just before he died. Or got deleted or whatever. Everything he'd learned, everything he'd seen. Uh, God, how do I talk about this? So, um, I guess you, you trained him, huh? After I left, he really looked up to you, and now that I've seen through his eyes, I, I think I understand why. I'm glad you had him around, even if I wasn't there. The things he showed me. Unbelievable things. And I never... Shit. All right, I'll be back in a second. If you like what you've seen, don't be afraid to uh, throw us a little like and uh, subscribe. That's always very appreciated over here. And, uh, well, I'll see you on the next video.